Six Nine is officially back. Technically, uh, not really, really back with new music, but he's back in posting content and talking about you know, um, you know his lifestyle, his career, and what he's going to be doing. So, not the best way to return though. He ended up releasing a cryptocurrency coin. When Six Nine launched his coin, it was called the Dummy Coin, and it ended up like right when he he didn't really when he let people know the address of the coin, which is usually how you can tell you know who's the official you know. What's the official account of the coin? Because a lot of people can create fake clone coins. So when he sent the uh, address of the coin out, and I remember copying and pasting it, but this is probably like 30 minutes later after he addressed it. Uh, I remember seeing the price at like 300000 right? The market cap price. Uh, that's usually the value of it, right? And I looked, you know, the history of it, and it peaked at like $6 million and then just died down. And that's what happens with a lot of these celebrity coins. They'll announce it, but they'll announce it late. Here's the thing. When it peaked at $6 million, it was way before 6 9 announced it to people. So by the time people bought into it, it was really late, and then that's how you lose money uh, going uh, into these like celebrity cryptocurrencies when they announce this type of shit. Um, but uh, let's go over the article. 6 9 has entered the cryptocurrency world, and now he is offering to meet some of those who's purchased his personal coin. On Friday, July 12th, the New York City native took to social media and announced some upcoming overseas concerts, as well as his latest business endeavor, in a brief clip addressed to his fans. We just got to Romania, he began. I'm super grateful for the ability to travel to Romania. Uh, we're live tomorrow at the beach, please. I want to apologize to all my fans for being very disconnected with you guys, but I got some great news. I just released a dummy coin for the first 2,000 holders and who buy into the dummy coin, you will be selected to meet and greet here in Romania. Also, we'll, we'll pick uh, three. Also, we'll pick three select few to join us on stage for the last song, which is Gummo. Ultimately, you end up removing this post, um, you know, because you also jumped on the NFT thing. And right now, basically, the meme coin stuff and celebrity coins is the hot trend, but only a few are actually caring about doing something in the space, right? Uh, you got Jason Derulo. You got Iggy Azalea. You got um, Waka Flocka. You got, I think Amber Rose right now is doing her thing. She actually is, you know, pushing it. And not much, right? Celebrities, a lot of these celebrities, they'll get either tricked into it because one of the developers that know cryptocurrency will say, hey, you know, you can start your own coin. You can you know, tell your fans they can use the coin to do cool things with it. And it's okay. You know, they're, they're not going to lose any money on it, blah, blah, blah. And then the celebrity won't know. And then they'll get, that's one way. But then there's also ways that celebrities know, and they're just doing it to try to steal money from their fans. Like Lil Reese, AKA Mr. Poopy Butthole, who's been constantly scamming his fans with dumb coins that he's launching like every other day. Uh, and it's working. Unfortunately, people are falling for it. Now, if you fall for it multiple times, you honestly deserve to get your money stolen at that point. Um, because, you know, history if, if he keeps doing it obviously he's a scammer but uh yeah man uh six nine has been kind of missing and i hope you know he's dealing with that lawsuit with the irs thing and he's you know struggling to pay that so i think this is kind of way to try to get some type of money and you know do his concerts and get uh some type of money through his fans unfortunately by trying to scam them uh don't buy this coin it's literally went to shit quick because it's not worth anything six nine at his peak if he did this he would have hit a mark cap of like 300 million, but he's not at his peak anymore. Launched the coin. The max it reached is 6 million, which is like good, but it's not like, you know, like for example, Iggy Azalea's coin, her market cap peak was like 270 million. That's like astronomical. So if Iggy Azalea can get those numbers, 6 9 can't even get close to that. I think Waka Flocka's highest was like 30 million. So Waka Flocka even got a higher number than 6 9. Um, but regardless, yeah, not a cool thing to invest in. So watch out. Don't, uh, don't get involved in these coins because it's just not gonna, not gonna be worth it.